Burl Gross is out with a new note on PIMCO's website today. He is blasting both political parties for saying that a balanced budget will create jobs. He's live on the phone right now with my colleague, my colleagues Tom Keene and Ken Pruitt over at Bloomberg Radio. Let's listen in. Rather than later, I, I just mm -hmm. think the can can be kicked for six to 12 months. But nonetheless, the, the consequences are the same, that, uh, that Greece can't pay its bills, that perhaps the EU or the ECB in combination can, can do that right. for them, but that presents uh, policy problems in and of itself. So in the meantime, you're not tempted by 30 percent yields. Oh, goodness, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're, you're tempted to, to suggest equities. Margie Patel of Wells Fargo agrees with you that there's a lot of value uh, in equity investment uh, now. The bond market has gone a bit against you. You've been eloquent about that and uh, that we've seen lower sovereign yields and higher uh, note prices. You made quite a splash with an announcement on Pro Procter & Gamble and such. Let's extend this conversation. Do you have faith that we're going to continue to see a sensible deployment of cash flows in the equity market? Well, I don't have complete faith, Tom. Let's analyze this from a demographic standpoint and, and from a layman 2008 standpoint. There's no doubt that investors have been burned, and since that point, they're three years older and closer to retirement uh, stage. The boomers are getting older, and naturally, they're gravitating towards fixed income. My point in terms of the Proctor example was simply that if you can find a corporation with steady cash flow and steady dividend policies, and that isn't always a slam dunk and it's not a hundred percent certainty with any corporation but a three to four percent dividend yield that uh, stands a chance of, of growing with inflation it basically is a direct comparison to the real yields offered by treasuries real yields in the five six seven year area and certainly the shorter maturities that are negative as opposed to positive so it's the same thing as saying that the equity risk premium mm -hmm. appears to be fairly wide now and that if uh, the global economy can steady itself and cash flows from a corporate standpoint steady themselves as well, then they're attractive compared to treasuries at negative real interest rates. Bill, we've seen so many op-eds in the last number of days. All right, well, that is Tom Keene talking to PIMCO's Bill Gross on Bloomberg Surveillance.